What's up, my people? It's your boy Kyrie's live on 10 o'clock on the dot, on 10.01 on the dot. Sorry, I was only one minute late, y'all. But anywho, um, do you think Sonny, who else knows that Sonny Corinthos is off his medication right now? See, now that makes sense. See, Valentin is a bastard, okay? He always has been. Hey, CJ Clove 18. See, Valentin Cass tonight has always been a bastard, okay? He want to go back to the day one energy of being a son of a B. That is his fault. He is, uh, but you see, Dewan, this is the reason why Sonny has been away from Nina this long. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There was something wrong with him because why wouldn't he want to be with Nina? Nina is a great woman. And hey, last day. Hey, Susan. Hey, cat lady. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Miss Gee. And hey, George. Happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to George Blackmon. It's his birthday today. Valentin is my favorite character on G8. Valentin Cassidy is a deplorable man. Look at what he's doing to my girl, Nina. I knew it. He couldn't stay away from Nina. Hi, T. How are you tonight? Uh, indeed. I knew it. Nina Reeves was, is, has been a good wife to Sonny. And you're thinking that an Ava making up Sonny making a drink shaking my head. Now, I want to I wanna set the record straight. I don't think Ava Jerome switched Sonny's medication. I don't think so. I don't think she knows about that part because she would lose Avery for good, and she knows it. So she knows damn well Sonny Corinthians is indestructible. But however, what she is doing is sucking up to Sonny to keep access to Avery each and every day. That's what she's always doing. So she's just taking advantage, and she's attracted to Sonny. That's all what she's doing, which is trifling in itself. But she's not going to switch that man's medication. However, Valentine is going to set Ava Jerome up. That is what's going to happen. That was his plan from the beginning. Did you watch Days? Holly is drinking now. Yep, I watched. I watched Days today. Um, I'm glad Holly did the did the right thing for once in her life and told the truth. Darby says, "Spider Quake, what's up?" Yeah, I unblocked Spider Quake earlier. I already unblocked. What happened to her stalker? I know they had dropped that story, it seemed, but not. They put it on the back burner, but now it's obvious that Valentine probably killed Austin to frame Ava. That was his plan. But he wanted to mess with Sonny's pills because it would make sense. Um, T says, Ava Stalker has disappeared. That's true. Um, it is true. Holly went from drug addict to now going to have an alcoholic problem, but she's 16. We can't put too much on her. I was stupid when I was 16. I actually liked Holly and Tate. They can make a good young couple for the show. I thought Tate was leaving. Jason figured out the, the way he was looking at Sunny yesterday. I'm still not sure Ava didn't kill him. Ava would not kill Austin. She had no real reason to. Hey, David. David said, good evening. Happy Saturday, my friend. I hope um, I hope you're having a great Saturday as well. Ava Jerome would not kill Austin. I mean, Valentine did it. Ava's slimy. Ava's a good woman, Spider Quake. Now, I think the rumor is they will recast him. With who? But all I know is Austin messed with her daughter. No, 
he didn't he, all he did was distract her with the balloons okay he had eyes on her the whole time he saw her so he he that is not no reason to kill austin for that however there was a reason for her to kill betty but she didn't do that so betty lives and ava's a conniving opportunist but she is not switching Sonny Corinthos medication. That is not what she's going to do because she has way too much to lose if she did that. Valentine, on the other hand, I think Charlotte is in on this with him. I really do believe that Charlotte Cassidyne is 100% in on this with her daddy and she's working to do that. And that's probably why she's acting like she's interested in Jake because her daddy put her up to it. Okay. They have some sort of plan. Pikeman had a plan for Jason. So that's why Charlotte is pretending to be interested in Jake. I think so. I see it. That girl is evil. Evil to the bone, I tell you. So no wonder why they... Remember we all found it so random that Charlotte and Jake just got together? That's probably why. She was set, She was told by her daddy to, to do that. Remember she did what she did to Morgan's meds? She did. Now, she switched out Morgan's meds because she was a desperate um, jealous, pathetic woman for that. And But I think she learned her lesson after she switched Morgan's pills. Um, Ava did unalive Connie. Well, that was because she was in the mob. Remember what she did... Um, I read, I read that part. Um, that's BS. Ava didn't kill Austin. Exactly. My Ava did not kill no Austin. Why would Valentine include his daughter into this? Because those Cassidines are deplorable. The loving father of Valentine, that was never going to last. Now his daughter is grown and evil, just like him. Charlotte is bad news, very bad news. So Charlotte is a part of Pikeman? Kyrie's shaking my head. Absolutely, Charlotte is a part of um, Pikeman. Hey, Dolly Midex, how are you tonight? He would include his daughter in a crime? Absolutely. What if Ava does help Sunny out? She will. She's going to try to, but they're going to... Um... Wow, Kyrie's the mental gymnastics you do to protect your murderous Ava, because Ava is a good woman, okay? Well, no, she's not a good woman, but she is a work in progress. That's what Ava is. She's a work in progress. She's trying to change her ways. I'm doing awesome. Well, that's awesome. Um, Ava Jerome is trying to change her trifling ways. After Sonny kissed her, she knows something is wrong. Now, that is true. Sonny had no business. Sonny needs to take, I don't think even Ava would call herself a good woman. You're right. That's why I had to correct myself after that one. I was like, yeah, she ain't no good woman. But however, she is a work in progress. A good woman, my black ass. No, she's... She's a work in progress. But my Aunt Jordan, on the other hand, she's a nut job. She's now disguising herself as a man. What is wrong with this woman? Aunt Jordan is nuts. Out of her damn mind. Like, she need to get her life together in order fast. Why can't she learn to just chill out for a second? Aunt Jordan always got to make make things hot. Progress has stalled. It depended on Ava being a good person. <laughs> Can't nobody keep Aunt Jordan down. Exactly. She worse than the IRS. Aunt Jordan is disguising as a man. It's true. This woman is cuckoo, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. What the F? LOL, I need to start watching, <laughs> watching YNR. Yes, you should. Young and the rest is, is some good stuff, but wow, that woman is nuts. She is not all the way there. 
the Aunt Jordan story is officially stupid. Extremely. She needs to go sit her little old self down somewhere. I'm going to start telling people they are a work in progress instead of telling them they are trying. <laughs> what well, Aunt Jordan looks good as a me. <laughs> Valentine and Abe, I don't think so. I don't think so. Nope. Valentine tried to kill Ava back in the day. I never forgot that he pushed my Ava off that parapet, that bastard. And now he's trying to frame her. Like, I can't believe I, because yesterday in my, my member stream, I said, I was a little harsh on Ava, but I realized today, this isn't her fault. This is all on Valentine. He's framing her. That's all he that's all he's doing. He's framing her. So this isn't her fault at all. This is all on Valentine. And he's gonna pay. Him and his demon seed daughter. They're gonna pay for what they're doing. Cause I automatically I assume Charlotte is involved in this. Cause why wouldn't she be? He threw Ava like a softball over that balcony. He sure did. He sure did. And that was horrible. But yeah, T, the Aunt Jordan story is official. And she needs to have another reason now. We need to get another layer to Aunt Jordan's story. We need some sort of second layer to it. Like, does she have another Newman child that's actually her child out there? Or did she sleep with Victor back in the day and he just don't remember? Like, we need something else because she's doing way too much. At this point, all over her dead, stupid sister that nobody even remembers to care about. The push Valentine did on Ava was fah. Valentine better be careful before Ava gets a knife. And then Dolly Mighty says, Why are we bringing Charlotte into this? Hashtag Charlotte is a good kid. Yeah, right. Charlotte is the devil. And she always has been the devil. She was born to be the devil. Funny as how Kyrie's on collision. Matt Cardona showed up and took on Adam Copeland. So Matt seemed like he's all elite. I'm just here for a minute. You're right. Val has a nerve calling Sonny a criminal. Exactly. When him and his daughter are criminals, okay? They both belong in maximum security prison. Send Charlotte to Pentonville. That's right. Life life without the possibility of parole. Lock Charlotte up and throw away the key. That demon seed. I don't like her. I think she's all involved in this. Okay? She's all involved. And they're going to pay for coming after my Ava. Well, Charlotte is blonde. Most blonde women on soap opera seem to be horrible. Yeah. Charlotte, Flo, Hope. Dang, she's only a kid. She's a demon seed, though. She was born specifically because Helena stole sperm to have a tie between her and Luke. Okay? That is what she did. Charlotte was just trying to get her arsonist girl scout back. <laughs> she didn't do anything wrong. Charlotte and Danny, she's the devil incarnate. Dolly Minute. <laughs> My apologies for mistyping your name. She burned Anna's house to the ground, to the damn ground. I know that's right. I like that with that passion. He said to the damn ground, to the damn ground. Hashtag summer. Yes, summer is the worst. Summer Newman. Claire Grace, she can't be trusted. I mean, I agree with Summer Newman for once in her miserable life. She was right about something. Who's Charlotte's mother? Lulu. But Lulu, no wonder why Lulu's still asleep. First of all, when Lulu finally wakes up, she don't ever need to go back to sleep again, okay? She should be well rested. Can't forget Jocelyn. Joke, folks, about Charlotte that she's a demon seed. Lulu is, is Charlotte's mom. Lulu is Charlotte's mom. Brooke Logan is the worst. Okay. And speaking of Brooke Logan, Dewan, do you remember when 
Sheila Carter switched out Brooke Logan's drink. I loved that story because Sheila dropped this epic line. She said, that bitch earned every last drop. I was here for that because Brooke should have minded her business. Ain't nobody told her to get in Sheila's face. So Brooke did deserve every last drop. Are you a little biased against poor Charlotte? Poor Charlotte. <laughs> and here come Dolly Mighty says, Anna's house was ugly and bringing down property value. <laughs> I'm dead. Hashtag Charlotte did it for the neighborhood. I'm dead. That was funny. The way Sonny was acting Friday at the end of the episode when he came back to the living room, you could tell he was actually acting crazy. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. What that means did in fact have his hands in Anna's house being on fire that he did not, not burn that file. Hey, my gorgeous queen, Jessica. Well, Anna probably got a lot of insurance money. Trip, Trevor Sunny has been crazy for a while. Damn, Dolly. Are you biased against the poor Brooke Logan? No, I'm happy Sheila Carter switched her drink out. I was mad that Sheila didn't get a chance to do it again. Okay? She should have done it again. Um, that was a good storyline. Okay, because I remember when she when Brooke was talking trash and Sheila was bringing it right back to her. She said, why would Ridge, Ridge already had a children and grandchildren with Taylor? Why would he want to throw that away to be with some old alcoholic slut like you? Stephanie Forrester said it best. Once a slut from the valley, always a slut from the valley. I was like, go Sheila. Okay, I loved every last word of it. Laughing my butt off, Sonny said, get out of my house. She's, he said, get out of my house. I'm not going to tell you twice. And yo, Sonny, I don't care that he's off his meds with this one. He needs to keep that exact same energy when he said, when, when Carly was like, Jason went to jail to protect our son. And Mike, Sonny said, your son. Not mine. Now get out of my house. I'm not going to tell you. To I'm like, I know that's right. I know that's right. Michael lost that right when he wanted to plot against Sonny for a whole year. And you think Sonny's going to just stay loyal to you? I don't think so. That was too much house for Anna anyways. <laughs> anyway, hashtag Charlotte saved Anna, Anna's energy bill. <laughs> not the energy bill. Your son. <laughs> Sonny is trash. No, Jessica, Sonny is off his medication, but he's hilarious, okay? And what he said was true. Let Michael be AJ's problem. Michael needs to go change his last name back to Quartermain and get out of Sonny's face. We need Morgan back, and Michael needs to leave my screen. He could, Him and Willow could leave the kids back home with Nina, and they need to go move to Antarctica for a whole year, okay? Why is you look the other way for certain characters and when you get evidence on Charlotte, you want to lock her up and throw away the key? I love her because I always knew that Charlotte was evil. I always knew she was pure evil from the moment I saw that demon. Not Antarctica. <laughs> yep, Antarctica. <laughs> Jason or Carly might know Sonny is off his meds. They sure should. My, the man needs help. The man needs help. Well, AJ is dead. That is true. Yes, Morgan. I need Morgan to come back and seduce Willow. Uh-uh, he ain't seducing Willow. Forget it. Willow could be someone else's problem. Because Willow lost the right to have a fine man like Morgan when she turned against her mother, Nina Reeves. We need Morgan's fine ass back. Yep, his fine ass, his fine legs, his fine... Mm -hmm. Stop! Carly will figure out Sonny is not taking his meds. She sure will. She better. No, Nina needs to get on it. So you see why Nina is trying to stalk Sonny? Because Nina's instincts was right the whole time. Sonny does need her because he needs to be back on his medication. No wonder why 
No man in his right mind would turn down Nina this long, okay? No man in his right mind would turn down Nina Reeves, okay? When she's offering herself up to you on a silver platter. So I should have known Sonny was off his medication, okay? I should have known. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Sonny. I let you down. I should have known that Valentine took off your medication. Nina needs to see her daughter. For what? Willow's the one that's mis disloyal. Nina might figure it out. I hope so. That greasy dirtbag Danny should make a tour stop at five different old folks' home. Ow, ow, ow. If Sonny wasn't on the show, I wouldn't be watching. People want to want to face it, but if Morgan comes back, it'll be for Ava. Oh, please, he don't want her. Nina is desperate. It's, it's sad to see. Sonny adopted Michael legally that his son, but a court of law, Michael, well, they could, there's a thing where you could un, he could sign that away. He could reverse that away. They could do it, okay? Maybe legally. However, Michael could get, that, that adoption was illegal anyways. The way he did it was such an illegal adoption. I see it's op opposite day and evil. You mean exceptional. Charlotte is an exceptional daughter. <laughs> no, Charlotte Cassidyne is the devil. She is. She always has been. And I liked it when Stella Henry put Tracy Quartermain in her place a few week, week, like a week or so ago. That was a good scene to watch. Stella Henry is a good looking woman. She looks better than Diane Miller, that's for sure. Hi, Albert. How are you? Um, Morgan needs to come back and claim his child. I still believe Avery should have been Morgan's child. You are the devil, Kyrie. Now, Charlotte Cassidyne is evil. And no wonder, oh, and Albert, now we can make sense of it. Why Sonny has been away from Nina this long. Because you, more than anyone, would know. Who would turn down Nina, okay? When you got Nina up on a platter, who would turn her down? Outside of last day. Last day would turn her down. But um, who else would, who, who else as a man could turn down Nina Reeves, okay? If she offers herself up to you, I'm just trying to play devil advocate here sometimes i like to use oh no you're good you're good you're good charlotte cassadine is the deepest is that they act like they acted like ava was with a five-year-old morgan was grown you damn right michael is a corinthos and sonny will eventually forgive his favorite son anyone would oh stop with the lies my gorgeous flawless wonderful beautiful Queen Jessica, you know you love ne Nina deep down. Albert Bostick, that's who. Oh, please, he would not turn down. Of course, you know Sonny was out of pocket turning down Nina. That's right. Drew will turn Nina down, LOL. Please, Drew will be eating Nina. He will. I turn down Nina. Well, you're not a man now, so... Besides me. Exactly. Yeah. Um, last day doesn't want Nina Reeves. But <laughs> the cat lady laughing. I'm just saying. Good save, Kyrie. Uh-huh. Drew's going to do what? He would eat. You know, <laughs> I'd turn her down too. But you don't swing that way, Queen Jessica. You are a woman. I'm just saying. So a woman would turn down Nina. But a man, uh-uh. I said no man in the Drew will be eating. Yep. Nah, Drew want Nina's cookies. He get he gets too eated talking about her. For a moment, you got something in your throat. <laughs> My ass. Yo, I'm just saying. I'm trying to have a little bit more class. We'll see how long that's gonna last. But. That is what Nina and Drew would do, okay? Drew will love making love to Nina every single day. That's why, like, Olivia, 
when she was talking about, oh, welcome to the club of having to work with Nina professional. Like, girl, bye. Nina ain't thinking about you. So please miss me with that. That was so pathetic when Olivia said that line. That just pissed me off. And I'm glad that Nina's right that um, where is Spider Quick? I don't know. He made a brief appearance. He probably just... No, um, it's just trying to ease his way in on the background, which is smart, which shows that Spider Quake is learning, he is growing, which is good for him. Sonny actually shot Dante, but JC didn't shoot Dante, so Sonny can't be mad at that. Sonny has to get over that. Well, he just needs his medication, and then he'll start thinking normally again. It's not Nina's fault that her milkshakes brings more boys to the yard than Car than Carly's stale flashbacks from Kelly's. I know that's right. I know that's right. Nina has an off-putting personality. Wouldn't like her even if I was into women. But yeah, but you but you're not into women, so you can't say so. Um, Nina, so Nina. What Nina does to a man's joystick is something you could never understand, okay? So when you and Jessica say, yo, we'll turn her down, because it's different. You, you two are straight women. I'm just saying. I can see it now. Drew grabbing Nina by her hair saying, come here. <laughs> Flap dress. Damn, autocorrect. I know that's right. Because it's but what you said was true. Sorry, ladies, that comment is only for the joy, the joystick club. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. They just don't understand. They don't understand, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just saying no man in his right mind was going to turn down Nina Reeves. Women will turn her down, of course. Nina got her man, Silas, and... Sonny taken by the same woman. Well, that's because Ava raised it up good. So I'm just saying, Ava, she you could tell Ava likes it rough in the bedroom. We, we remember that sex tape she had with Paul Hornsby? With with that P Paul Hornsby? So I'm just saying, when, when he said, and, Car and Carly said, um, don't, don't you mean give it to me harder? So Ava likes it rough. I'm just saying, Ava likes it rough. Drew and Nina about to turn that crimson office upside down. Dolly Carly had a boyfriend. Nina's crying after Sunny. She's desperate. Desperation literally stinks. I could tell Steffi likes it rough. <laughs> oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. But I can't wait until Drew and Nina hook up. It will make Drew useful for once. Okay? Because Drew knows that Nina's the better businesswoman than Carly. At least it's acknowledged, though, that Nina's a better businesswoman than Carly. So I'm glad when Nina walked into that courtroom, she told them that she told Carly to her face that, you know what? I'm glad that the damages you made to Crimson couldn't stick around for too long. I'm proud of Nina because Nina's a better businesswoman. She's smarter than Carly in business. Okay? That's always been the case. It always will be. Nina's smarter. Steffi deals it rough. She sure do. Look, I'm looking forward to Hope retaliating against Steffi because it's been long overdue. Do you think Jor Jordan's storyline on why and I is becoming cartoonish at this point? Yes. Jordan needs to get her life together. Like, and I honestly think like this story is dragging to the point that we need a stronger reason now. Okay. They need to rewrite the story. Jordan needs to have another reason to go after the Newmans because it doesn't even make any sense at this point. It really does not make any more sense. Like, why is she doing all this over her stupid dead sister? Like who, don't nobody, th those Newmans don't even remember her sister, okay? 
Like, why is all, like all of this? Like, you, when is enough enough for this crazy lady? Like, can't she have some other end goal? There's got to be something. Like, rewrite history. Did she sleep with Victor back in the day somehow? And Victor don't remember. Um, do her and Victor have some long lost love child? Like, some other reason why Jordan is doing all this would be much better than this nonsense we're dealing with. Or is she obsessed with Victor? She's doing all this. She hates Nikki so much because she really wants Victor. Something that will twist this story too. And she needs to learn when to chill out. Like stay hidden for a while. Like I love my aunt, but enough is enough at some point. Drew and Nina will have no flat surface in those crimson offices untouched. Why would Drew want another one of Sonny's sloppy seconds? Um, Because Nina's hot. Has anyone noticed that Hope has been looking more like Brooke lately? I saw a, a, a clip from the 90s where Brooke has had the same haircut as Hope does now. I didn't notice, but... um. Anything to be, but I thought Steffi was out of pocket calling Hope a slut. I'm like, Steffi, you ain't got no room to call nobody a slut, okay? That was out of that was out of pocket. Like Hope talking about, oh, I don't want to stoop to your level. Yeah, you, no, she should have been stooped to that bitch's level. I would have. I would have ripped into her. Who do you think about Lily and Nick as a couple? You know what? Um, Nick got to put his in something, so why not? <laughs> why not? It would be messed up if we find out that Jordan hated her sister Eve. Uh, she probably they, she already did say that um, her and Eve were on the outs for a while. Well, Aunt Jordan is now Uncle Steve. <laughs> not Uncle Steve. I tried not to nice hope, but you're not wrong. I guess she's truly a slut. I loved Steffi calling Hope a slut. But no, I didn't like that. Steffi got no room to call nobody a slut, okay? Steffi needed two DNA tests for both of her kids, okay? Just like Brooke did. So Steffi need to get off her high horse. Steffi has been passed around by the Spencer men like a, like a keg at a frat house. Steffi has no room to talk. Exactly, Dolly Midex. Damn it, Steffi had me defending the damn Logan women. God damn. What has happened? Hey, Clarence! Everybody said, what's up? Everybody say, um, welcome, Clarence. To be fair, Nick was nice to Adam, supporting him, or kind of even setting up that jet, that jet right for, for him. Yeah, he did it. That don't mean I have to like Nick Newman, but I acknowledge Nick Newman that he did a good he he did a good thing. But just like Nick never remembers Adam's good deeds for too long. I don't remember Nick's good deeds for too long. <laughs> so I'm going to show as much gratitude to Nick as he did towards the kidney. Kyrie took it took one to know one, which is why Steffi knows that hope is us now. Um, Clarence said, Steffi makes me sick. Exactly. Like, Steffi should have definitely gotten the smoke back and then some. I would have been like, that's why you slept with Bill and Liam, so screw you. At least I at least I kept it with brothers, but you had a whole father and a son. And a son, you nasty hoe. Like, F, F you and the horse you rode in on. How about you better be lucky that Finn ain't leaving your trite. Your tr I'm just saying, Hope should have went in on Steffi. She should have went in. Get the hell out of here. And you better, and, and I'm going to run another DNA test on Kelly. I dislike both Hope and Steffi. Me too, to be honest. But no, I'm tired of Steffi on her high horse. She ain't in no position to even talking about Brooke either. 
Okay? And I hate Brooke with a passion. She's my number one hate on my number one hate list. Kyrie, stay petty, respect, even though I like Nick. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm not going to lie, but Albert, I will acknowledge this, that um, I'll acknowledge this part, that when I was watching the Nick scene, I, I, I wasn't mad watching Nick. When I'm usually, every time I see Nick, I'm usually gritting my teeth or putting my fist up, but I didn't do that. To uh, on um yesterday's episode, so I give Nick some credit. Steffi cheated when Liam was married to Hope. Exactly. Steffi slept. And then talk about when you kept sleeping with my husband. I didn't forget when you slept with my husband. You home wrecking bitch. She should have went in on on um Steffi. Hope, don't take none of Steffi's crap. Finn should leave Steffi. Finn is a wimp. Hate Brooke, too. Me, too. You don't remember Charlotte's good needs. Good deeds, Kyrie. That's right. Charlotte doesn't have any good deeds, just like your precious Ava Jerome. At least Steffi is not ugly. Um, but I'm glad that... that oh, yeah, because I still... Um, Clarence, I have the smoke for Brooke when she called Shauna a slut from the desert. I'm like, have you lost... Your ever-loving mind. Steffi has literally done the exact stuff Brooke has done, even down to having a laundry line for the company and sleeping with a man and his two sons. The only thing Steffi hasn't done is sleep with Kelly's boyfriend. And the only reason why that hasn't happened because Kelly's not 18 yet. By the way, hit the like button. We got 21 likes, 25 people. Math needs to match. Matthew, thank you so much, Albert. I appreciate that. Yes, hit that like button if you're enjoying. We have 26 people in here. So, yes, if you are enjoying this, hit that like button. That really does help me keep this momentum going. Um, Finn's too good for Steffi. Yes, Finn is a good man. I always wanted, damn, what two sons? She slept with Wyatt. She slept with Bill. Bill's the father. Wyatt's the brother. And Liam. And Liam. Is the brother who's a bigger slut? Hope is Steffi. Steffi, because Steffi slept with the daddy. She slept with the daddy. I would have liked to see. Um, T says, I would have liked to see Hope backhand Steffi. Um, yeah, they should have. Well, Steffi would have slapped her right back, but they should have. They should have had a good fight. So, yep, Steffi ain't got no room to talk about nobody. Then Steffi will win. Yeah, Steffi's gonna win that fight, but I'm just saying, but Hope could fight her back though. And don't forget that Steffi started the feud with Hope. He she started the whole thing by calling a teenage virgin a slut publicly because she was jealous of a clothing line. Hey, Samantha Drain, how are you? How much you wanna bet Hope and Finn do the dirty? Uh-huh. They oh that that gonna happen. But um, Clarence, you know what? I would rather have um Hope and no Bridget and Finn have an affair together because they both saved Eric's life. So if they can get Bridget to stick around for a while, I would love if Bridget and Finn had a hot and heavy affair. That would be good because Bridget is the good log is the good Logan. So and Hope she could sleep with Zende or somebody else. Cause Zende needs to stop being so desperate for Luna. Luna don't want don't want him. So she just he needs to accept that and move on with his life. That Luna don't want him. She wants fat chest boy RJ. That's who she wants. That's who she gonna get. Yeah, that would work. Mm-hmm. Cat lady says hello to to Samantha. You know, Kyrie, I would never defend Hope for anything just because Steffi is doesn't mean she's not allowed to call hope a slut i respect that last day um if hope and steffi sleep together i'll be pissed <laughs> trust me that's not gonna happen both of those women are strictly dickly they both are zen they just do too much he do way too much bridget is a forester and a logan that's how DNA works. I bet an angry woman will throw down last. <laughs> 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 
poor poor Bridget in the background. Now, I like I would like Stephanie and Carter to be a thing. Forget skin and bones. For not skin and bones. I'm dead. Skin and bones. Look, Finn is a good man, okay? If he wants to grieve his psychopath birth mother, let him grieve in his own time. Okay, Finn? Hope and Steffi are sleeping together. <laughs> that, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see that. That wouldn't even... Um, we need a new woman for Zende, a beautiful black woman. It doesn't make sense that Zende went from being married to a total goddess like Nicole to sniffing around Luna. That is true, because Nicole was pretty. Finn has a swimmer body. Why are the writers trying to get Finn and Hope together? Why do you have Steffi seconds? Really? No one wants to see Hope and Finn. Bridget forgave Brooke for sleeping with her husband. Tells me all I need to know about her. That just shows that Brooke's manipulation worked. Brooke manipulated her. Please, Bridget. We're all, the, we're all her. Um, She turned on the waterworks and it worked. Who in Sunday? Who are we talking about? Who's Petra? I know it was a typo, but um, could you retype that name, Dewan? Because I don't know who that is. Bridget is weak. Well, Brooke is is a grade A um, manipulator. Bring Nicole back for Zenday. That's true. He doesn't. He never even mentions that he was married before. Zenday is used to being all of the Avon sisters. There's no way. Petra the model. What does she look like? I must have, because I fast forward all of the model scenes. Ivy and Zenday. Yeah, Ivy is cute. I give her that. Ivy, she's she's cute, but I need to see who Petra is. Hold up. I'm about to I'm about to pull her up. Petra bald and the beautiful. We about to find out who, who she is. Oh, her? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Wasn't Deacon the husband? Yep, it was Deacon. Give Hope her own man. She was the model who was checking out, out Thomas. Bring back Paris, Zoe. Uh, yeah. I could pass on the Buckingham sisters for me personally. Yeah, the Buckingham sisters, they could stay gone, but they could bring back Nicole and Emma Barber. I would I would love if they brought back Nicole and Emma Barber, but um she was the my oh and and Nicole's sister, Sasha, she was hot. Paris and Zoe, no. <laughs> I can't wait for Ivy to come back. Ivy was gorgeous. Did you know the actress's best friends were Margot Robbie? Vote how now on Zoe and Perry. I know you all are gonna kill me. What if what if Hope and Ridge? You're not the first one to say that. Um someone else predicted that. yeah, Wink Wink said the same thing. Wink Wink said the exact same thing for Hope and Ridge being together. <laughs> Even when they're trying to make her Steffi 2.0. Hi, Kyrie's. How's your day been? My day's been good. How about yours, Spider Quake? Has your day been good? Um, bring back Nicole and Sasha. They would be great on the show. Very great. Because remember, Thomas and Sasha almost had a thing going on back in the day. Um, that would kill Brooke. It sure would. And it would be the ultimate karma. It's good at my cousin's. Awesome. Um, yeah, that would be, think about it, all the 30 years later, 
That would be the ultimate revenge Hope could have on Steffi and Brooke at the same time. Because Brooke slept with Hope's first boyfriend, Oliver. Yo, 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 Spider, you're back, back. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he had an unlikely ally that saved him. Okay? So I brought, I unblocked him earlier today because of an unlikely ally. It was an unlikely source. I won't reveal my sources. So don't ask. But hey, Gemini. I try to forget when they tried to pretend Ivy was American and tried to make her sound like Steffi. But she is hot. Ivy is hot. Darby Dole, last day, CJ Clove. She's extremely hot. Awesome. We got 28 people up in here. Hit that like button. That really helps. But Albert looked out for you, Spud. I didn't say that. That's not what I said. I said an unlikely source. So I don't know what Gemini I talking about. Brooke is a real pe poor Ashley. Yeah, Ashley on the Young and the Restless, she needs help. Bad. I said that. Brooke really is a piece of work. I have nothing good to say about her. Thank you. Um, Samantha, I was just saying earlier how happy I was when Sheila Carter switched Brooke's drink out. I sure was. I would love if she did it again. Hit the like button like Steffi hit Sheila. <laughs> Hello, Al. Ivy is cute to me, but she's not hot. Well, she looked better than what's... Ivy looked better than Hope. And, yeah. I really want Sheila to... Switch out Brooks' drink again. A few times. Ashley's always needed help. Katie forgave Brooke. That pissed me off. Like, see, this is, see, that was part of the reason why I call Katie back fat Katie. Because how is she going to turn her back? She she going to have her back all with her arm all out, all angry at Quinn. Yet she forgave Brooke, not once, not twice, but three times, but yet was angry with Quinn. She had all this smoke for Quinn for telling her about things. Ivy does look better than Hope. She does. Any woman looks better than Hope the thing at last day. And funny thing is they let Ridge actor Ingo as Thorn keep their accents, even though they're supposed to be from California. That's funny. Hashtag back fat Katie. Back fat is a punk when it comes to Brooke. That's why Quinn put her on blast. Uh-huh. I loved it when Quinn threw Katie off that bed. Remember when Katie was sleeping with Wyatt? That was nasty. That's for starters. But second, please tell Abby and Chance is getting back and Sharon and Nick. The original Abby and Chance had better chemistry than this one and, and Chance. Remember when Katie dumped Brooke? That was one of the best scenes. She had Brooke on the floor crying. It was great. Darby, he needs a crane. Um, tell Chance is getting back and sharing in that bet. But yeah. Quinn is needed on the bald and the beautiful. I don't know why the they decided they couldn't write. Brad Bell was so lazy. Like this is why. They only got renewed for one year. It was decisions like that. When he said, oh, well, we don't have no storylines for Quinn. That was crazy. He could have thought of something for Quinn and Carter to be together. This Abby is drier than that baked granola. <laughs> Not the baked granola. What baked granola got to do with it? <laughs> I'm dead. Summer and Kyle are horrible parents. Um, Summer is not Harrison's mother. Tara Locke is. So I'm stand. I'm gonna stand by that hard. Um, I don't know why 
they acting like because they said talk about losing his biological mother when Tracy Abbott brought that up a little while ago. Quinn knew the Titan the Titanic was sh- was sinking, so she just jumped ship. Quinn really is needed. Why it just disappeared? In my opinion, Taylor is needed too. Not as much as Quinn is needed, but um, because with Taylor they just default to Ridge, but but Quinn she had a whole other storylines that could have happened. Summon is YNR's hope. No, Tara Locke is Harrison's mother, and Tara Locke is still alive. Okay, she's just in jail. Because of that criminal Phyllis. What happened to Taylor? She left town again. Cause the actor the actress got fired because she got nominated for an Emmy when Brooke didn't. B and B is going down. That one year contract says a lot. Mm-hmm. I liked it when it was something different. It was just a woman another woman that sounded like every other woman on the show at that time, because at that point you had two blonde women. I have no idea why they did Krista Allen like that. She really was a great Taylor. Yeah, but she kind of portrayed Taylor to be like so like childlike and younger when Taylor's an older woman. So how isn't Taylor important? Everybody is crazy. Tara needs to come back for Phyllis. Exactly. Yes, I think Taylor was needed for Thomas and Hope's BS. Well, she would have encouraged the same thing for Thomas to leave Hope. So thank God they ended the the Jordan and Claire story. Now, they didn't end that yet. Jordan is back, and she's dressed like a man now. Even Steffi is a little crazy. She's a little cocoa. She's a little ticky-ticky boom-boom. Um. I'm glad that he took... He t- that Thomas took Douglas back from Hope. That should have happened a long time ago. He took Douglas back as he should. Jordan offered the new summer for me is a problem. I hated the old summer and the new summer. Jordan offered Nikki a drink. I was on the floor. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. That Jordan woman. But she be doing a lot. She'd be doing way too much. But Jordan is funny. Yeah, Jordan, she's a piece of work. Just like Taylor said. Clark Industries, hey, DC! Taylor sucks. Why did she act like a child? Taylor had one episode, but she was mean to Hope, and it made me like her for (laughs) for that day. LOL. When they going to bring Noah back? Um, I heard he was on his way back because who's running Newman Media? Because it ain't drunk Nikki. She can't, she can't pass no test. She can't even. Um, so someone needs to be running Newman Media. She fired Audra. All these characters are a little cray, <laughs> cray, cray, lol. Jordan. Keep those entitled Newmans on their toes with their entitled with their entitled asses. Uh-huh. Krista's Taylor's version, who should have been over Ridge. That Taylor was more California wine, weed dispensary wife. I liked her. LOL. Have a good night, Kyrie and everyone. Yes, everybody say good night to Albert. Um, Clarence Field says, nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying, and what else about the young and the restless from this week? But does anyone else agree with Lily's decision to fire Daniel and Heather? Um, I may or may not be creeping in the background. (laughs) Hello, Al. Well, still, you got you got your good night spotlight, just in case. (laughs) Um, but I didn't like Krista Hunter. Tyler was at least a good actress. I agree. Good. I'm glad Dewan agrees with Heather, 
Heather the Heathen being fired along with Daniel because um, what is Cole's purpose besides Claire? Um, I think he's in on this. I think him and Claire might have their own agenda, but I don't really trust that Claire is think Daniel and Heather deserves that. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes, Lily, she finally got a backbone and stood up for herself. Exactly. She's always they're used to her being so mature and rational and thing. But this this trick gonna sit here and smile in her face when you know and then and then she had the nerve to get in her face talking about, oh, how's Maddie? Like, you know you don't give a damn about Maddie. So why are you in her face? She don't like you. You slept with her man. Like, that was way out of pocket. Heather was way out of pocket for that, for getting in Lily's face, acting like she cares about Maddie when she know damn well she don't. Like, get it together, Heather. Daniel and Heather deserves it. Absolutely. Can Heather sue Lily for wrongful termination since she fired her for sleeping with Daniel? I don't think you can fire, fire someone for sleeping with your boyfriend. Heather looks good, especially the mole. Devon is getting on nerves, so is Billy. Yeah, Devon is always problematic. And Billy is definitely always problematic. Every time Billy Billy thrives on, on conflict. And so does Devon. So no wonder why they butt heads. But that actually is like foreplay to them because they don't know what to do without conflict. Moldy Lip and Daniel can collect their unemployment check together. Exactly. That's what they could get. Kyrie's business and personal are supposed to be separate. Well, I'm just saying, it shows. Oh, yeah, because technically they, he, they do have a contract. So they're not really at will employees. They have a signed contract. Phyllis, syphilis, Phyllis, and her damn kids. I know I cannot stand that Phyllis woman. Billy is so annoying. Billy's Billy's beyond annoying. And you know what? Last day, you are technically right in a way. Business and personal are supposed to be separate. However, she don't want to look at Heather's moldy lip ass. So I don't blame her for that. Just like Mammy and Jill. Yeah. Mammy be doing too much for me. And then, like, she sounds like, like, I don't like the sound of Mammy's voice, though. Like, uh, she just sounds so extra. Just the way she be explaining things in. Phyllis, oh, stop with the lies, Dewan. Stop with the lies. She ain't no best character of nothing. Phyllis Summers is the biggest pain in my ass. That is what she is. Do you think Joss and Dex get back together on GH? I sure hope not. Dex is a snitch. Dex Heller is a snitch. And he should have been dealt with. So when Sonny gets his little medication back, he needs to order another hit out on, on Dex. Because no way, um, nah, but Phyllis has ran the Phyllis character has ran its course. I'm sure they do. No, Queen Jess. No. Jocelyn and Dax need to be done. I saw a few something Victoria and Adam were nice for to each other. When I saw it, I st I said, stop with the lies. Sonny better not touch touch Dax. Jessica, you are still defending Dex even though he's a snitch. Yet you gave the smoke to Zeke. How did that make sense to me? You still haven't explained to me why does Dex still get a pass from you, but Zeke is villainized forever for snitching on bald-headed Curtis. You tell me on little Bill Curtis, Zeke is the devil for that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Come on, don't don't be like Albert. Don't be a gaslighter, Jessica. You're gonna make that make sense to me. They're going to make it make sense to me. Don't be a gaslighter. Like, oh, <laughs> come on, my gorgeous queen. So over Phyllis, if a man who doesn't want you. Exactly. I'm just saying. 
Danny's not, Danny may be a good man, but he's not the only man in the world. I'm defending Dex because he's hot. LOL. Dex gotta go. Like, you see, I regret being attracted to Dex. Like, when I when I had my twenty my twenty second birthday, I was all for Dex, but those days are over. Okay, I'm done being attracted to Dex. His he's a whole snitch. Dex is a snitch and a hypocrite. You could agree with me that I'm correct, but Lily did it anyways. She could have found another job. Reason she could have said was you sucked at your job. She's clearly being predicted because Jess feels Dex looks better. Let's just be real. But now, but now at, at the very least, she needs to give Zeke the benefit of the doubt. Why is she doing this? She's trying to be a gaslighter like you. You are Albert gaslighting Bostic because Albert is a gaslighter. Okay. He's going to be like, Kyrie's, I never gaslighted. You know, I never gaslighted anyone. <laughs> but yes, he did. He gaslights. That is what Albert Bostic does. He's a gaslighter. Phyllis, <laughs> go find Jack. Um, but Jason and those blue eyes. Now, Dex will be a cop shaking my head. Great. He's really staying if that happens. I thought you went to bed, Boomer. His voice. <laughs> so Dix gets a pass like Idra. <laughs> um, OMG, just ha Heather does suck. Both Heathers do. Both Heather Weber and Heather Thing. I'm surprised you like Dex in the first place. Me too, CJ Clove 18. I should be slapped for that. Okay? I need to be slapped retroactively here we go <laughs> and all the i never guess like you just be tired sometimes it's okay i got you but i never gaslighted anyone with the lies albert is the biggest gaslighter i know what do you what get me is that Joss is not thinking about her daddy and Uncle Shady. Heather Weber can stay. She is fun. Don't pick on poor Heather Weber. Heather's not good like Emma Barber. Trina wish they could bring back Spencer like nope. Nope. Nicholas Chavez don't want to come back. Well, actually, let me get let me call his name right. Nicholas Chavez don't want to come back. So um Neither does Spencer. So Spencer's not needed, and he could stay gone. Trina, get over it. Trina just needs to. I'm a boring. Hello, <laughs> Darby. You know damn well you were entertained by Emma. That's right, Chad. I sound exactly like what Kyrie said. <laughs> yes, Kyrie, you deserve a belt back because we don't do stupid and Dex is an idiot. Exactly. I need a beat down for that. Someone need to beat me down for that, for liking Dex. That is gross on all levels. It's unbelievable that I like the snitch because Dex is a whole snitch. Mason look better than Dex now. Okay. Uh, Kyrie Clark misses Nicholas Chavez. Never. Brennan is bad, good looking and smart. You damn right. Mr. Brennan is all that and then some. What about Nicholas? Um, Nicholas Cassidine, he's probably just going to stay in jail for a while. Jagger, he's hot. So I guess I, I'm not alone in that. LOL. He all right. I would say Jagger, he all right. That what he is. One one second. I'm not ignoring anyone. One second. 
Jagger is okay. No, no punishment, just. Yes, I'm. I'm glad I found you, you all. Yes, we're glad. We're glad you found us too. We a fun, fun, fun group. Jagger, he's hot. I guess no fabulosa for damn month. That's that's your punishment. <laughs> they need to send someone for Trina so she can start living again and stop walking around all sad. Exactly, Spencer ain't nothing to grieve over. Spencer is nothing to grieve over. He could. He can kick rocks with no shoes and no socks. When they get, when they're gonna get Jordan the man who will stay. The old Jagger was better looking for sure. He I right too. I seen him. He I. Right. He's a hot snitch though. No. DC, don't don't join the dark side. Don't join the dark side, DC, <laughs> okay? You know that you even once said it yourself that Dex was way too boyish for you anyways. So <laughs> that Mr. Brennan is where it's at. So now <laughs> don't try to, <laughs> that's right. You know, I keep my receipts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So nope, Dex is not all that. Dex ain't even had Dex, Dex. Um, he lo he lost several points with me. I I will never forgive Dex for what he did. Ever, never, 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 ever, never, ever going to forgive him. DC like a social security check. <laughs> Cause I'm still blindsided that DC thinks that Marshall is a seven. He need to stop. <laughs> Marshall, Dex ain't too boyish for, for Jessica and me. Ow, ow, ow. I'm just saying. Do you think Jason and Carly will get together? Probably. Sure, Kyrie, you love Dex. Absolutely not. Not in this lifetime. I would never be involved with a snitch. Like Dax, he's a snitch. I mean, the way he went into that court, and then he was, and then he had tears in his eyes, too. I'm like, what a weak little bitch. I'm sorry, Dax is dead to me. I need Zeke Robinson back on my screen. DC needs his tuition paid. To the semester starts. <laughs> Hello, oh. oh. <laughs> It's the writers doing this to Dex. Well, the writers told Zeke to do it too. The writers told Zeke to snitch on Curtis, Jessica. So how about that? How about Zeke? How about Zeke? Who's Zeke? Portia's brother. Um, Zeke Robinson, who Jessica had all this smoke, all this smoke to Sonny and Heather. Yikes. Uh-uh. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen Jessica want to defend Dax, but want to prosecute this man. Hold up, let me let me let me pull up Zeke Robinson. They need to get Jordan the man. They sure do. They sure do. Yeah, that ain't him. That's damn sure ain't him. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, no, we're not, we not about to do this. One second, I ain't ignoring anyone. Him. Okay. That... I wanted to get it even. Another better, but that's who Jessica prosecuted him for months for being a Gavin Houston could come back to the role because we need Zeke in our life. 
Heather Stevens versus Diane Miller. Ugh. I know that now. This is what I'm talking about. Now, you see, this is why we need Zeke back on our screens, okay? This is Zeke. I'm just saying. That's why we need him. We need him back on our screens right there, okay? Just saying. I don't even usually like... But you know what? Zeke makes an, ex an exception. Zeke is an exception, all right? For reasons like that. Thought about Brick, but his criminal history will bug her. Days recast to Tate. With who? Do you do you know um the actor's name that's replacing Tate? But damn, that was one good ass photo. Hmm, I gotta I gotta save that photo. Oh yes, I'm just saying. We need Zeke back on this show. Look at that million dollar smile on this. Oh, I'm just saying, Zeke got it going on. And Emma was not deleted. She had a minor car accident and went home and later softly left the planet in her sleep. The end. Leo Howard. <laughs> yes, Zeke was fine. Uh-huh. Zeke is an exception because usually I don't. Oh, Leo Howard. Hold up. Let me let me Google him. Leo Howard. Leo. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He's coming on Days of Our Lives as Tate. Well, the last one, Tate is supposed to be 16. Well, I guess he's still kind of younger looking, but that's not a realistic long term thing. What? Oh, I'm about to say the temporary actress. Okay. Y'all gonna kill couple alert Chad and Leo on on days. He is married to Salona in real life. Oh wow. Gates replacement Tate's in replacement is 26 years old and engaged to hey Susan. Oh, I guess they, well, I guess I'll wait to see how he'll make his mark on the show, but I'm just saying Tate is only supposed to be 17 going on 18, and he's already 26 years old, so, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be one of those bandwagoners be like, he's too old to play the role. I'm not going to do that when I haven't seen him act in the role yet. I knew he was on, on Disney. That's why I said um, the second I, I, I pulled him up, I knew who he was. Right? I didn't remember the name of the show. Thank you for reminding me of the name of the show, though. That I appreciate. But I'll see what he could do before I judge him. Right, we'll see what he could do. Last day, nobody ever needed Emma for anything unless they needed sleeping pills. Derby, please. Because Clarence agrees with us. I think, right, Clarence, that Emma Barber was needed and Thomas should have paid for that. Thomas should have been in jail. Thomas belongs in jail. After he's done raising Douglas, he needs to turn himself to the, to the prison and go to jail. Okay? When Douglas is old enough to look after himself, Thomas needs to go to jail. For what he did to my girl, Emma Barber. I love that girl. Curry's, did you like 
Kicking It, one of my favorite shows as a child. I don't really remember. I just met Clarence, LOL. RJ, Luna, and Zenday's storyline is boring. That's true. But Emma Barber was very interesting, right? Clarence Fields? <laughs> put put um put Darby 13 in his place once and for all. Oh, Darby, LOL, you a messy show. He sure is. That Darby is something else. Here we go again, Emma. You damn right. Thomas never said what happened to Caroline. I know. She apparently had an aneurysm. You love that girl. Sounded like sounded like Albert. Uh uh. Clarence Fields, the the floor is yours. What did you think about? Yes, her and Xander. Uh huh. He said yes. He loves Emma and Xander. Now what? That great woman is who you was talking, was taking way too soon. Thank you, last day. And last day got my back too. So now I got some, um, Caroline has some brain issue. Yeah. And that's what caused her alleged death. Clarence, don't do it. Uh-uh, Gemini, you not, you not about to, you not about to work your magic on him and try to influence him against Emma Barber. Or did Thomas murder Caroline? I suspected that, but I don't think so. Um, Emma is always mentioned on here. She was brutally murdered. That's right, by that bastard. He he watched that beautiful woman. Flaw, she was gorgeous. She was wonderful. She was talented. Emma, come back. Thank you. I'm glad I, I I'm so happy I found you found this channel. And I got you as backup now against Darby and all his mess, okay? All his Emma Barber shenanigans. But me, Clarence, and Last Day, as a united front, Darby won't stand a chance. <laughs> How do you think about Kelly Monaco Sam on GH? Do you think it's time for her to leave the show? Seems the actress doesn't care anymore. Absolutely. It's time for her to go. The Sam character ran its course. How about Kelly Monaco go to the Young and the Restless or Days of Our Lives? Pick her choice. And no, Dewan, she's not playing Taylor. She's either going to be on the Young and the Restless or Days of Our Lives. She could pick her poison. <laughs> Does anyone think it's possible Thomas killed Caroline? I'm sur surrounded by the... <laughs> Please, Sam can go. Oh, and Queen Jessica, you love Emma Barber too, right? Um... That 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 way I could I could forgive you. Forgive. Can I ask a question? What's the purpose of Trey tra and losing? Huh? Sam and Drew can go away, can run away, but who's Trey? Oh, Tracy, Tracy and Lucy. Is that what you meant, Tracy and Lucy? What's the purpose of them still going at it? Sam can play on days as Chloe. Darby said, huh? I'm pretty sure you meant Tracy and Lucy. Um, well, Tracy don't like Lucy for sleeping with her brother back in the day. You know how you know the way you feel about Kelly Monaco is the way I feel about Phyllis. Where you had did I step in? LOL. Sam can play on days also as Chloe. Oh, yeah. Sam on days as a recast of Chloe. That could work. And Sam and Drew can run away with Tracy and Lois. Oh, yeah. Lois, she could go. Lois could definitely go. Nina Reeves is my girl, and Lois had no business getting in my girl Nina's business. So, yeah, Lois could definitely go. She's ran her course. She overstayed her welcome. She has no class either. So she could go, her and her fake nails can go back to, oh, oh no, it's, it's okay. We ain't got no, pro, no shame in that. We all have typos. Mm -mm. Where's Sharon? Somewhere in the back making coffee. 
That's what she's doing. But yeah, um, I like Tracy, but yeah, Lois, she got to go. She's got to go. I'm still holding that grudge against Lois until the end of time. Kyrie says, shame myself. Derby, you boomer. Oh, oh, love, you love, love Nina too. Not making coffee. <laughs> she is. You know she's making coffee. That slow coffee maker. She need to. <laughs> That's why Cameron Kirsten was reading her right, though. He said, he said, come on, Sharon. You know you're bored with this life and just making coffee and listening to all these people and their problems. Don't you want more out of life? That's literally what everybody was saying to them. Danny and Christine right off in the sunset. Uh-huh. You need to grudge Ava for kissing her friend's man. I did. I checked Ava yesterday in the member stream. That was enough. I'm not checking Ava no more. Now she's my girl again. Kyrie, don't forget Lois' fake accent. Yes. It's like, that's what Lois' fake accent is like. Nails on chalkboard. Hello, you, you all got me laughing. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that. That's what we do. We're here to entertain. I was mad because they all mad Nina did things, but they have done things too. Clarence. OMG. If there was anyone, I wish I could just, I wish I could just, um, how could I, could I pin that comment? Could I favor? I had to cuss Kyrie South for talking about it, but you ain't do nothing to one. That was perfect. I wish I could make you a super, a super member. Um, if I had that power to just make you a member automatically, I would. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I would that's a that's the comment of the year. I'm a, I'm gonna write that I'm gonna write that down. It was eleven twenty two. That's when all right. We about to we got another Nina Nation member, people. We got another Nina Nation. Clarence is a part of the Nina Nation now. Eleven twenty two PM Eastern. PM Eastern, Clarence became a proud member. Member of Nina Nation. I got you. I got you. So even if um, the only Nina Nation member is one, and that is kind of, no, Clarence just joined. So when I do my next member shout out, whether you're a member or not, you're going in there for 1122 on 330, 2023. You became a proud member of the Nina Nation. You are going in there regardless of whether you're a member or not. Uh -uh. We not about to, <laughs> we about to, I'm about to take this, this victory. Okay. I got another Nina Nation. I told you, I done told you I was growing. Teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> the Nina Nation is cool. <laughs> and Jessica, the, the, I don't care about what Nina has done because no one's perfect, but she need to get a backbone dealing with something. Hold up. Samantha Drain. So um what's your stance? Are you are you a Nina? Are you a Nina fan? Or um Cause yeah, she do need to get a backbone dealing with Sonny. Once if he stays on that BS, once he gets his medication, then she could kick him to the curb. But she needs he needs her help because he needs to get back on on the medication. But Samantha, are you a Tina a Nina fan? Oh, that's that's what your message was about earlier. I forgot all about that, Dewan. But um, yeah, Miss Miss Samantha Drain. You know what? I'm 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 gonna write it down anyways. 
I'm going to just assume that Samantha Drain is a Nina Nation member too. No, not you too. Do you think Willow will forgive Nina? She better. If she could commit crimes for Michael's stupid ass, then she could forgive her mother. Hold up. Samantha Drain is a Nina Nation. To, hold up. And Susan is also a member of the Nina Nation. Hold up. Thank you. Uh -uh, she didn't deny it. She didn't deny it, though. But Nina Nation, Susan, we got, we got, um, until Samantha tells me otherwise, we have Samantha and Clarence. All right, Queen Jessica, I told you, you're going to get on the winning side. But we got you. But Clarence is definitely going in the next member shout out video. I'm going to make sure he's first. Whether he's a member or not, I don't care. If I had that power, I wish YouTube would give me that power. Do you like Willow and Michael together? How now? <laughs> uh uh. Samantha is not a Nina, a damn Nina Nation member. Stop having <laughs> It's official. Nina Nation is a call. Be quiet, Darby. Be quiet. You boomer Darby, but Samantha Drain is a member of Nina Nation. Clarence Field is a member of Nina Nation. And Susan, I was a Nina fan before the writer started making her desperate. I like the fact that she had her own money job. I'll take it as a victory. I'll take it as a victory. You're still part of the Nina Nation. Does Nina needs to get it together once they stop making her so desperate? But you're right. But but it turns out there's a method to her madness because Sonny is off his medication. Uh, Valentine and has been messing with his medication. So that's the reason why Sonny's treating her that way. So she knows that Sonny, she just felt it in her heart that something wasn't right with Sonny. But that's because Valentine has been messing with his medication. But once we get that straighted away, if Sunny still don't want her, then she'll gladly walk away from him. But she can't walk away from him because, like, in her heart, she feels something. I like Nina with, with Valentine. Uh-uh. He, him and his demon seed daughter are too much for Nina right now. So she got to she gotta see. Now, if Sunny gets back on his medication and keeps that same energy with Nina, then... Don't drink the, the grape soda. So Sonny has to be medicated to deal with her desperate mind. Yeah. If he was on his medication, he would have been took her back by now. He didn't want to end this marriage in his right, right state, of, state of mind. He didn't want to end his marriage. Would you like Robert and Holly and Anna and Jagger? No, and no, and no, and no. <laughs> Hello, ow. Oh. But if Anna and Robert, not demon seed daughter, oh, 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 he, yes, that is his demon seed. Sonny has to, yes, you damn right, Gemini. Sonny need to get back on his medication and go back to his wife who loves him. Ava can go find Nicholas and Julian. Oh, oh, oh. My Ava is not going back to Pentonville until Ava returns 18 years old. When he kicked Nina out, I thought Sonny sobered up. Nope. He was off his medication then, too, okay? Because that was the same night he beat up Cyrus, and Valentin switched his damn medication. That bastard. Because I remember when Sonny was... Yeah, Sonny need the medication quick, very quickly. He needs it. So he can go back to his wife. I'm so sorry, Sonny Corinthos, that I didn't see that you were in trouble. Because if I had known that, I would have I would have got you the help that you needed. Do you like Finn and uh, every each day, Finn and Elizabeth on gets the day one day closer to cancellation. Each day they're on screen together is one day closer to cancellation for the show. Finn, as a character on General Hospital, 
is where chemistry goes to die. And nope, um, and the, Nina didn't didn't sign those divorce papers. Yes, Ava and Jagger. Ava and Jagger do have chemistry. I do give give them that. But Finn, Hamilton Finn is where chemistry goes to die. That is how H Hamilton Finn operates. He's where chemistry just goes to die. Always is Chase in Brooklyn. Bore and bore ring. They are extremely boring together. Albert, if you're there, get B and B canceled. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'd rather watch paint dry than watch Finn. I know that's right. Because paint dry is way more fun than Finn. Finn don't know nothing about fun. Emma Barber doesn't even pretend to have a personal body chemistry. Al, al, al. Darby, please. But I'm still happy, but my highlight of this week for General Hospital is when Jake knocked Danny on his ass. I was like, go, Jake. I've been watching the old episode of Liz and Jason because Finn is boring. Yes, I love Sasha and Cody together, and or at least get Brad Bell fired. Yes, Brad Bell, he need to be lit. Darby, please, Darby. Mm -mm. Now, I'm throwing every couple at everyone. <laughs> Hello, out. Not every couple at everyone. That's funny. But, yep, Jake knocked Danny down because Danny got out of line. I want to be. Now, Jake whooped Danny. Jake won that fight, and you know it. Jake won the fight. Jake won. Brad Bell does suck, and Jake won. Because he did. He won. And I'm glad he did. Because who did Danny think he is? Did Danny really think he's going to get away with that sucker punch? Brad Bell doesn't care what fans think, and that's finally coming to, ca to catch up with him. Bring back Lulu, reunite her with Dante. Sorry, D Sam and Dante, nope. I didn't see the fight, LOL. Well, I saw it. J Danny got the first punch, Jake got the last. Danny is the better son right now. Oh, please. Jason is the deadbeat dad. So he has a chance to redeem himself on Monday, though. I want to see how the how the conversation between him and Jake goes down. Jake won, but Jake has a few years older, Kyrie. Danny will put hands on Jake a few, in a few years from now. And Jake's going to whoop that ass again and again and again and again. I'm going to make sure of it. Jake is going to bust that ass each and every time. And I don't care if, if I got to have Jake start working because I think Valentine sent Charlotte to seduce Jake. That is what she's doing. She's been playing Jake to manipulate Jake. That is what Valentine wanted her to do because Jake is Jason's son. So Valentine had it, put all this together. That's why Charlotte has been sniffing around Jake. Like I said before, Jake is hurt that Jason's been away this long. Exactly. Jake is a good boy. He's a good boy. So I'm going to defend Jake against his brother and who and all of his haters. Fiercely. He's got a fierce protector ally in me because 
we're not going to have this. And thank you, Samantha Drain, for backing me up with that. Jake is just hurt because his dad has been a deadbeat his whole life. Okay? So Danny ain't better at nothing. Oh, Danny has a grifter of a mother. An ex-grifter of a mother. That is what he has. Not fiercely. I love it. LOL, you always loved the underdog. Hey, Twerry! Jake got his ass beat, but then that is a lie, and you know what? We all know Jake won that fight. Even Twerry will have to admit it. Twerry Babes GH Page, you know Jake won that fight. I love underdogs too. Wow, Kyrie. So I was thinking the same thing about that demon seed Charlotte using Jake. Yep, her daddy sent him. I mean, her daddy sent her to go get on Jake's good side. This is why. Because remember, it, it felt so random for Jake and Charlotte to be into each other. But think about it. Jake is Jason's son. So Valentine is heading is, is the head of Pikeman. So it makes sense that Valentine sent charlotte to seduce jake yes him being the big brother he should have won yep and he did valentine is that that much of a super bill of kyries to the point of using his daughter to seduce jason's son to spite you kyries yep yeah jake won that showdown absolutely and if he's lucky that aiden was there because if aiden wasn't there jake might have finished him off I'm just saying. Jake still got, hey, why are they trying to ruin both days and the bald and the beautiful? Well, the bald and the beautiful Brad socks. Brad Bell socks at life. And I don't know about days of our lives. I know that a Lord dude is creepy. Um, Tori says, hey, Darby. Hey, Queen Nikisha. Whose side were you on, Danny or Jake's? I was team Jake all the way. Watching from work as usual. Awesome. Jake should have ha has shared a jail cell with, his, with the daddy he hates, Kyrie's. But you do know that they, they Jason's kids will fight you. Hello. <laughs> well, that was Aiden. Thought it was Rocco. No, that was Aiden. I like Danny better than Jake. No! You're on the wrong side. Hello. You're on the wrong side. Jake is the right side, all right? Um, you, Queen Jessica, and then it's going to be an interesting conversation between J Jason and Jake tomorrow. Well, good. I hope Jason's not a deadbeat for once. Good. I hope Jason gives me a ch gives a chance to shut me up. If Jason becomes a good dad this time around, I will shut up. Uh, -uh. Queen Dakeisha is on the wrong side. J Jake is where it's at. His dad abandoned him. Okay. Yes, Dewan, I'll get right on that. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yes, because apparently <laughs> Nikisha had powers to get passions canceled. I'm team Danny. Oh, I figured you would be. <laughs> no, nothing could shut you up, Kyrie's. I love it. That's all right. Um, Samantha Drain was on is on Jake's side. That's all I need. And I think. I don't know um, which side Clarence is on again. I forgot. But that's all right. At least I got Samantha Drain. Thank you all for letting me throw things out there. Not getting mad. Yeah, of course, ain't nobody going to get mad up in here. It's all love in here. But of course, Twerry Babes GH page had to be team, team Danny. I figured that much. But the queen, the key is their passions, LOL.
I think GH missed the opportunity. I wanted Danny to have gone to the boathouse to drink and vape and for Jason to have caught him and have the dad talk with him. Jake Nation, hold up. We got a Jake Nation. But I still would have I still enjoyed Danny and Jason scene. I gotta update the name because I already got Nina Nation, but I'll I'll, I'll find out and I'll, I'll give us a new name for Jake. But yep, Clarence is on Jake's side too. So I that's right. Don't speak for the new subscribers, Kai Reese, LOL. But I'm excited for Jason to be a dad to his own kids for once. Exactly. Donna, I already have a daddy. So um, Jason needs to be there for Jake and thing. Yes, to every team then. All right, y'all be on the losing side. At least me, Samantha, and Clarence are on the winning side because Jake won that fight. And guess what? Even three years from now, Jake will bust that ass again. And in another five years from now, Jake going to bust that ass again. And every single time Danny wants to try it, Jake going to bust that ass. What do you think about Ava and Sonny? <laughs> Sonny Kyrie's. Um, I'm going to give the PG version because yesterday I cussed Ava out. But I feel that with Valentine switching is the one that's switching Sonny's medication. He did this to um, he did this to set up Ava for this. That's what's gonna happen. So everyone's gonna believe that Ava's the one that set up that switched um, Sonny's medication, like she did Morgan's, and they're gonna hate her more than ever. And Valentine's gonna set that up. But Ava, she's not, she she didn't do that. She genuinely wants Sonny and she wanted more time with Avery. So she that's why she's kissing up to Sonny. But I think she's gonna be set up to be the fall girl. I was thinking the same thing. I would tell Clarence to hush, but I but I would have to ask for permission from Jess to say that to Kyrie's. Al, al, al. I'm kidding, Clarence. I think she's falling for her. Oh, absolutely. It's okay, Darby. I'm loving this. <laughs> that is awesome. I am so happy Clarence found this page. But yeah, she's definitely falling for him, but um, she's not in on this, but she's going to get framed for it. I want Ava to be a little nefarious. I prefer Ava to be morally gray. Nina's going to kill Ava. Let's not get carried away now. Ava's still my girl. So Nina Reeves, she ain't going to kill nobody. However, she does have a right to be upset that her friend just kissed her man. That that fall girl, Ava, is far, far away from being a girl. Fall woman, okay? She's going to be the fall woman. That is what gonna happen but hopefully Trina or somebody will find out the truth actually he kissed her he kissed her but she sure kissed him back them lips them lips was touching she didn't push him away she didn't be like no Sonny don't do this don't do this don't do this he pulled back nope she her lips was right on his right back Fall old woman, fall girl, when, where, L O L. But didn't Sonny kiss Ava? He kissed, yeah, he kissed Ava and she she let it happen. Nina gonna be crying when she walk in and catch them. She sure will be. Gross, imagine falling for Sonny Corinthos. <laughs> yeah, she was ready for that kiss. She sure was. She sure was. Albert's back. Albert says, hi, Nikisha. Ava should have pushed Sunny away. She sure should have, but she didn't. Because she's a trifling woman. But I love her. Okay? That's as far as old people kissing. Ew, LOL. Well, even boomers deserve love, too. I'm just saying, love is love. And 
Albert is the best non-sleeping person. <laughs> Not non-sleeping person. That's funny. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just... Oh, Albert, while you were gone, well, you were never really gone anyways, but we have new members of our Nina Nation. We got Samantha, and we're, and then we got... um. We got Clarence Fields. He officially joined the Nina Nation. Boomers deserve love. It's going to be messy. Yep, I'm ready for some Sonny and Ava action. Oh, they're definitely going to get, get their freak on. You know, every time they show Pentonville, I check for our cuz in the background. <laughs> Wishing everyone a happy Easter if you celebrate it. Yes, happy Easter. Just can't stay away from <laughs> We got to get Jess on board. Exactly. Jessica needs to understand that she needs to get on the winning team. Did they give Austin a funeral? Did Cyrus even offer a prayer? <laughs> Clarence didn't join Kyrie's. Didn't join Kyrie's as having fake members. LOL. <laughs> I'm not laughing. And then Jessica said, no. Oh, please. Our guy back, Brennan. Yes, Mr. Brennan and his fine self. Ooh, that man. That man is the definition of sexy. He got it going on, okay? I would have no problem with Brennan. When they going to solve Austin's murder? Well, that's on the P Pawtucket Police Department not Port Charles Police Department. I'm going to say Valentin killed Austin, probably, and that was his plan all along. Oh, and Twerry, I, I came up with a new scenario that I think Charlotte is in on this the whole time, that demon seed is in on this. I quit Nina Nation after Kyrie's cussed out Ava. Laura said she would, she would like to get to know him better. Who better? They never solved Austin's murder. Kyrie's is enlisting members like he's the military. I'm not the military. But I sure will. I'm going to get more Nina Nation fans. So everybody, um, make sure you share this video to anyone you can. Anyone that will listen to you talking about General Hospital, just make sure... You, you, you share this video with them so they know that um, the Nina Nation, we are open. Charlotte had those buggy eyes. Uh-huh. She's That girl is nuts. How come Cyrus doesn't know about Valentine and Pikeman? Cyrus, I know. I'm hip. Cyrus should know. That lazy. Hashtag Charlotte Nation. Now, Charlotte's the devil, okay? I don't trust that little girl. That little demon seed. Nina Nation has one member and 5,000 fake members. She did an interview and said she would like to see more Brennan, John Sosa, and Jason would feel strange since Sunny's still in town. Will you apologize for cussing out Ava? LOL. <laughs> well, Ava deserved to be cussed out. Did y'all recognize the, the pride van driver from GHS today? He looks so familiar. I can't place him. Um, no. But the writers get final say, so Nina Nation is a cult. Be quiet, Darby. Be quiet. Okay? Nina Nation is not a cult. Nina Nation is full of good people that see Nina for the good woman that she is, all right? She's a hardworking Harris. Because think about it. Nina don't have to work, but she she still goes to work every day. She, no, Clark. Prison can drive her, not pride, after an autocorrect. Yeah, the, um, yeah, I'm not sure who he is. I know that there was written it that he was deaf. I'm not, I'm not too sure who he is. 
Who is to say he doesn't gem- Gemini? Cyrus keeps things to himself. Why doesn't Christina have a little baby bump yet? She's still very, very, very early in her pregnancy. Don't forget, she was she found out she was pregnant like after like two days later. How look sensitive those Nina members are. It's giving cults for sure. She does that, Susan. Charlotte acts like Helena when she was a teenager. Uh-huh. Evil. I think because Think about it. Now that makes sense of why Charlotte is after Jake, because Valentine sent her. Nina Nation is a wide psych psych ward. Be quiet, Darby. Oh, and don't forget, Spider Quake is a member of Nina Nation, too. Let's not forget that. Why is Christina so annoying? Um, well, her mother, her mother is boring, so she just... Got to be at least 26 because last month they could see the mem- see the gender. Do you like Blaze for Christina? Nope. Look, I don't know why they think that Blaze could be the face of deception. She's a 2 out of a 10, so they need to stop all this. She ain't got no personality either. When I say 2 out of 10, I mean her personality too. So... Um, her personality is included in all that. So I'm just saying, 16 weeks, not not 26 weeks. She's she's way more boring than Sasha is. So what what about Blaze could be the face of the seven? We need someone like um Sasha from the Bald and the Beautiful. Now this could be the face of deception. One second, let me show y'all who this girl is. Blaze can't sing either. Uh-huh. Now this girl, now this woman could be the face of deception, okay? Cause she was a deceptive character. This woman right here, she could be the face of deception. Hey Ambassador Sam, how are you? Trina could be the face of deception. Eh, well, Trina could try. Blaze definitely can't sing. Wow, she's pretty. Yeah, she's gorgeous. We all know Trina could be the next face of deception. Yeah, why not? I don't see I don't see a reason why she can't be. She would be a better choice than Blaze, that's for sure. Very good, thank you. That's awesome to hear. Trina could be the face. Jocelyn, oh wait, no, he could also be the face of face of run for the hills. Uh-huh. Well, we all know Dex can't be the face of deception because he's a snitch. I'm sorry, Tori, I can't get over Dex being a snitch. Do you think that Dex deserves to live after being a snitch, Twerry? Because Dex was a whole snitch. How is Sonny supposed to let him live after he takes his medication? Trina is definitely pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. But um, the face of deception, I don't know if she's up for that. Trina ain't doing nothing except grieving that piece of crap. Please, no more decks. Trina ain't ain't shot. Uh Uh-huh. Dex could be the face of Monthly Snitch Magazine. My fave to worry here. Dex can be the face of Playboy. That will be... Ugh, here we go. So over... Exactly, I'm over over Dex. He's a snitch. A whole snitch. Like, I I still can't believe Jessica wants this man gone, yet this one to stay. I didn't I didn't I gotta show the show the picture again because 
now that Twerry's here. One second, one second. Um, I ain't ignoring anyone. I'm pro- I promise. I ain't ignoring anyone. Now, remember Zeke? This is who we need back on our screens, right, Twerry? This was Zeke, Portia's brother. We need him back for Jordan or somebody, anyone. Okay? You cannot hate on him since he's drugged. Snitches get snitches, and he should have them. That is who we need for Jordan again. Him and Jordan had that fire chemistry together. I will not spread it. Oh, oh, oh. The snitch is going to be a cop. They act like Britt didn't exist. That man is so fine. Uh-huh. We need Zeke. Back on our screens. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Yo. That is who we need right now. <laughs> Terry got me dying laughing. Jordan is walking around sw- switching her hips and smiling after Zeke. He can stay. See, Jessica, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, Jessica. How is he could stay gone for snitching on little Bill Curtis with, with the you want to you want to side with a whole ex crackhead, yet you don't want to give Zeke the benefit of the doubt. You're siding with a crackhead, with a former crackhead, but still was a crackhead back in the day. But you want to give Zeke the side eye for snitching when Dex gets a whole pass, but you siding with a whole crackhead. Make it make sense. Imagine having been with Zeke and still wanting Curtis. <laughs> she said, give me some chocolate. Oh, <laughs> like, like, come on, Curtis was, and Curtis still had that crackhead logic. Sonny ain't trying to kill him. Please. Why would they want to kill his bald, stupid ass? That would just be a waste of a bullet. I'm just saying. Not going to lie. I know Sonny was being drugged, but did not know he doesn't come out of nowhere. He must have some resentment. <laughs> they laughing my ass up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And Twerry, our, our collab was, once again, thank you for our great collab. That, that collab was so great. That was a high, a high viewed collab too. Did you see that? We got over 1,100 views. Damn, when he speaks up for air, when Kyrie speaks, Curtis thinks he's important. Exactly. Sonny won off on Carly. Selena is a waste of, of time. My favorite. Oh, please. Selena is a waste of, and he's not. Curtis is not important. So then you're right, Jessica. Curtis is not important. So why is you sitting over there? The collab today? No, what I was referring to the collab I had with Terry a few weeks ago. Um that got like what did Clarence say? Oh, Selena, oh, about Selena being a waste of time. <laughs> and Curtis still ain't falling yet. <laughs> I've been waiting for that forever. Hello, oh, oh. <laughs> We're going straight to hell. Curtis gets on my nerves like he important enough for people not to target him with his boring stuff. Exactly. I I hope it was his ex-drug dealer that shot him. That's who I hope it was. That would that would be such a twist. It was his ex-drug dealer that shot him. Or Taggart that shot him. That would be a twist. I would have preferred stuff. That story, but exact. I'm gonna be mad if they delete Selena. How is he and Portia doing? Doing it? 
nice and slowly, nice and so slowly. They do it nice and slow. She just got to stay in that one spot. And it's, it's boring, just like him, just like his personality. It's boring. And she's never wet. That's how they do it. Um, yeah, I, w I, <laughs> I wish it was Taggart. Just Taggart who? Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> Kirby's day. <laughs> I want for the kill. <laughs> but happy Easter. <laughs> Here I am being all sinful. <laughs> but still. Keep your eyes closed, pretending it was Hat Daddy. No, thank you. I'm going to keep my eyes wide open now. Taggart more John Cena than John Cena can't see him. I miss Taggart. <laughs> Ambassador Sam. Thank you. But still... But all right, everybody, this was an extremely, extremely fun Easter live stream. Um, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call it a night. I will be having my members live at 6 p.m. Eastern. So if you're not a member, hit that join button and to get more great, more great stuff. But if not, then I will see you. The rest of you on Tuesday. Um, but have, and Darby wants to lie about hating Emma Barber, but have a good night, Darby. Have a good night, Spider Quake. Have a good night, Gemini. Have a good night, Queen Nikisha. Have a good night, Samantha. Have a good night, Twerry. Have a good night, Dewan. Have a good night, Spider Quake. Have a good night, George. Have a good night, Susan. Yes, happy Easter. Um, once again, ha have a good night, Queen Nikisha. And have a good night, everybody else. I have two juicy stories from Members Live, but damn, I will be outside. I'll, I'll, I'll. And have a good night, everybody else. I will see you all soon. Why do you have... Ish on Sundays. <laughs> but yes, have a great night, everybody. See y'all soon.